the terror, the bravery. Ordinary Australians caught up in extraordinary events. Fighting the best way they can, in war and in peace. In August 1999, the tiny Southeast Asian land of East Timor votes for independence from Indonesia after 24 years of brutal occupation. Australian public pressure builds and the reluctant government decides to intervene in late September 1999. Australian soldiers are warned that Indonesian special forces known as Kopassus are masquerading as militia. But the Australian government officially denies that its powerful neighbour Indonesia is behind a secret war against Western peacekeepers as payback for East Timor's independence. To me, it was like uh, I was trained for war. Because it was a UN operation where Australia basically patrolled the border, we were the ones that were most likely, and New Zealanders, to be in uh, any conflict with militia or militia elements. I honestly believed that there was a, a very good chance that I wasn't coming home. It felt like I was going to war. And then suddenly I heard a, a, a bang as the first shot went and then an eruption of fire from the front and I thought, is this, is this really happening? Is this for real? It is believed that three militiamen were wounded, possibly killed during the contact. The five remaining militia had probably dragged the wounded or dead back across the border into Indonesia. They were experienced soldiers, Indonesian soldiers. They couldn't get caught across the border with uh, wearing their, their uniforms, obviously, because would have uh, basically been an act of war. So it was never something that they could admit uh, and it was definitely not something that our government was would, would have been willing to admit either because it would have raised more questions. And I had so much frustration, money, money at the way that we were treated. <laughs> Children's faces that, that haunt me to this day. Uh, one particular little girl and I've seen her eyes in my dreams. And the, and the rage that I feel towards the enemy, or my enemy, I should say, is something that, I've, that I haven't been able to control since because I no longer have an enemy to fight and I, I take out my anger on myself in, in different ways um, through depression and self-blame. <laughs> 